turn three troll bloods he eats a whelp in front of the impaler to remove the fury so he does not frenzy like crazy and the swamp gobbers move up and lay down yet more smoke in front of the living your obstacle it won't give them more defense against range but it will at least prevent any charging and for me shooting anything from behind so borka moves up and he casts mosh pit and then he feats and so everyone gets plus two to their charge range and some other awesome things so mosh pit is everyone in this control range all their melee automatically causes knockdown so this is gonna be quite scary then the Impaler heals himself and then attacks the Archetypus Gun Mage, but misses. Then the champions decide to declare their charge. And now they all have Pathfinder, I do because of his feet. And so they charge through those pillars there, and then he tries to run up and around, but he can't quite make it. There's not enough space on the hill. And so three of them are out and three of them are in, but one of them is Scaldi. And so Scaldi hits pretty hard and causes five damage which is pretty good because i think it's dice minus 11 or something ridiculous with thunderhead with uh, arcane shield on but now it's just damage because everyone's knocked down because he is knocked down so everyone hits for free and does a, another five damage or six and so all in all thunderhead held up pretty well but at the same time they're all up in the face and they're gonna slowly wear down thunderhead and kill him the fen blades then charge up and are able to attack and take out the right arm of the hunter. It was seven damage total. So he still has his gun arm, but his axe is gone. And so Siege, well, turn three Signar, time for some uh, drastic measures here. So he goes one to the defender and then one to the hunter and keeps two for himself, or one for himself. And three's on, and so the defender, re defender realizes, hey, Bork is actually in range. I probably should have given him more focus. He does boost to hit and does hit. And so now it's, I guess, dice minus one or something similar to that. And so Borka takes a good beating. Then, because of the drunken stumbleness, he stumbles forward onto the steps. Then the hunter, because he has parry, he can walk out, no free strikes given, and shoots at the middle guy and does manage to hit and with boosting damage and with armor piercing he easily is able to take him out and no tough not a lot of tough rolls made that doesn't help that you forgot a lot of them too shooting the impaler now with combined range attack again not quite as hurtful this time but he or no not the impaler the the champions and so over the champions, he is able to kill, or no, he makes his tough roll. So one's on the ground, the other one's hurt desperately. And then Harlan actually charges across the front arc, gets a full three inches in barely, and is able to charge and kill one of the Fen Blades. Then Siege says, forget this, I'm charging forward. I mean, it's a very risky move, but he does charge and then boosts his attack roll and manages to barely hit but it's a critical so he has smite so it slams the guy forward and so it knocks both of them down and then as for damage i think i rolled just enough no i didn't i only had two damage too bad and then the other guy did manage to hurt him a lot but none killed so thunderhead goes now now what i should have done is probably not kill the guys blocking siege from borka or borka from siege and but I, they were knocked down, they were so easy to hit, I couldn't pass by. And so tough rolls here, one fails, attacking the other, kills him, and a tough roll is saved. But I have lots of focus, so I make another attack, and this time he fails his tough roll. Then there's Mr. Uh, Scaldi, which I do manage to hit and not manage to kill. I rolled a little under average and I realized I should have saved some attacks for him. And then in desperate measure realizing where I'm eh, I put Arlen in front. And then the champions make their vengeance moves. Go in, attack, hits Arlen and kills him. Oh, no. He has one box left. But then Scaldi also attacks and manages to kill him quite decisively. And the last hit against the Thunderhead manages to do nothing. Actually, I think he missed him. 
So now sucking uh, fury, Borka is topped up, and now the champions are moving out of the way. Most of them, they make a few attacks against Thunderhead. He rolls another double six and a five for damage and does quite the amount. But Thunderhead's still doing not too bad. And then Scaldi again with his two attacks. And then the other champion there manages to bring, he takes out the movement of Thunderhead so no more charging or trampling or anything like that from Thunderhead. And even more damage. So even with the 22 armor, he, they can do quite the number of damage, but now Borka gets topped off by the Keg Bear, has lots of focus, casts Mosh Pit on himself, or, well, it's a self-cast spell, so he also gains the benefit from it. He charges in, boosts the attack, easily hits, knocks Siege down, and causes a whole lack of damage, nine or 10 damage almost. And then another attack damage, brings him down to two health and one more attack easily wipes out for the second time Borka kills Siege. So it was a troll blood victory by a luchador. Here I am with a luchador and the overseer. We're gonna have a quick rematch and we're gonna have some mangle metal. 15 points. Signar versus the um uh, the trolls. And we got a new pirate troll. He's not fully painted but it's okay he's mostly painted. 